Coming to you live from the Breaking News Center here at the History News Network is Jeremy Treshine. Good evening, everyone. Tonight we have a special on Gunnar Medal, the Swedish economist who wrote one of the most influential publications about racism and segregation in the American 1940s. His book, An American Dilemma, The Negro Problem and Modern Democracy, is a 1944 publication study of race relations in America. Gunnar Myrdal's study, An American Dilemma, utilized scholarly studies, statistics, and hundreds of interviews with black people in order to describe almost every major facet of an early 20th century black life. The book thereby highlighted the profound conflict between American racial policies and the American belief in freedom and justice for all. Myrdal predicted that World War II would ultimately become the catalyst for change. In many ways, he was right. The publication sold over 100,000 copies and went through 25 printings before going into its second edition in 1965. It was enormously influential in how racial issues were viewed in the United States, and it was cited in the landmark Brown vs. Board of Education case. The book was generally positive in its outlook on the future of race relations in America, taking the view that democracy would triumph over racism. In many ways, it laid the groundwork for future policies of racial integration and affirmative action. Madero was funded by the Carnegie Foundation for the Advancement of Teaching. The foundation chose Madero because it thought that, as a non-American, he could offer a more unbiased opinion. Madero's first volume, at nearly 1,500 pages, painstakingly detailed what he saw as obstacles to full participation in American society that American Negroes faced as of the 1940s. Madero believed he saw a vicious cycle in which whites oppressed Negroes and then pointed to Negroes' poor performance as a reason for the oppression. The way out of this cycle, he argued, was to either cure whites of the prejudice he believed existed or to improve the circumstances of Negroes, which would then disprove the whites' preconceived notions. Mirdal called this process the principle of cumulation. And that concludes tonight's segment. Thank you everyone for listening and have a good night.